What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this uh, Saturday night. Uh, I'm doing good myself. I'm up on the other side of midnight, me and Miss Joan Thomas, my wife. And uh, we're just going across a couple of stories that uh, we find very interesting. You know, shout out to the Sister Queen. I know who I am for, you know, giving us both of those stories. We definitely appreciate that. Yes, we do. Thank you. Now, this first story right here is, is basically, you know, more like a warning. You understand? Because we don't want to see the same thing that we saw when Popeyes released this infamous gangster ass Shocking GMO made full of whatever. I mean, a legend. I'm saying this is alleged, allegedly simply because, you know, uh, the way people act when they ate it, you know, mainly black folks. After all, it was prophesized in, um, what, was, what was that show? The Boondocks. You understand? And I'm telling you, it actually, the way it was done in the Boondocks, it actually happened. People was getting killed. You know what I mean? People was getting beat up. Folks was getting ran over by cars. This all took place. We're here to tell y'all tonight, don't do the same thing about KFC's new chicken and donut to release nationwide. Here it is right here. Tell me what you think. What you, what you think about this, man? I think they're selling a heart attack. That's you, what it looks like to me. Yeah, you know, because look, there's not only glaze, you know what I mean, on the donut itself. It even have glaze on the chicken, you understand? And I'm like, um, apparently what it's all about is that. KFC is in competition with Popeye's chicken simply because, you know, they're looking at it like this. Well, if Popeye's can make billions of dollars off a damn chicken sandwich, so can we. We've been in the game longer than uh, Popeye's, you know? And when I think of donut, I think of donut. And when I want a chicken, I don't want a donut with it. I agree with you about that. You know, it, it's crazy because simply because, you know, you know, it's, this is kind of like a spinoff of like chicken and waffles, which I've never tried, by the way, because I'm like what my wife said. You know what I mean? If I want waffles and I'm going to have waffles with my breakfast and there ain't no chicken going to be included. And if I want my damn chicken wings, guess what? I'm going to have my chicken wings, my fries and my coleslaw with some hot sauce on it and all that without damn donuts. In and a smoke filled room. In a smoke filled room. <laughs> That's how we do it in them streets. That's how we used to anyway. But look, let's get into this short story right here. And then once we finish this thing right here, uh, we're going to get into Erica Badu, you know, with her new, uh, wow. We're going to, well, we'll just leave it for when we get into the story. It's shocking, though. I'll tell you that. By no means think that we actually are promoting, you know, that black people should go out and go get this shit, you know, just so you know. But it says here, it says the this past fall, KFC teased a wild new dish that was gloriously ashamed of its own decadence, a chicken and donut sandwich tested only at select uh, locations in Virginia, Pennsylvania at the time. Well, Pennsylvania, Virginia and Pennsylvania at the time, the truly American combo gained enough positive feedback to finally be considered for national release. So, come February 24th, and that's what? Tomorrow, for a limited time only, KFC will be offering this new chicken and donut combo at all participating locations. For those curious about the deets, it's literally all in the name, Kentucky Fried Chicken and Donuts. <laughs> I guess, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken wasn't doing so hot, so they had to get into selling donuts with their chicken. You know, making donut chicken sandwiches. <laughs> but to continue, it says here, sure it sounds like the most simple sandwich ever, but simple don't mean stupid in this case. Did Dan Flavin achieve notoriety through complex and busy art? Surely not. A hot, freshly glazed donut sandwich, some juicy fried chicken sounds like a winner in any scenario. Not mine. And me either. I heard that. So come this Monday, the 24th, you can step out. <laughs> hey, listen to this. You can step out and get you some KF, 
sea fried chicken and donuts. A duel, well, a duel that guarantees as fresh instant gratification as Kobe and Shaq highlights. Now, why y'all putting Kobe in it? Kobe is no longer with us on this level, okay? You see how they use black people to promote their shit? You understand? I'm telling you, folks. And they figure people are probably going to go out and buy it and support it just because of Kobe. And our people should be tired of being used to make the white man money. Exactly. That's the way I feel about it, too. You know what I mean? And another thing I noticed, every damn thing they sell, they have to get our, you know, uh, uh, um, okay to do it as people. That shows you just how much power we got. Now, hang on a second, you know, before we get into this next story. Here we go. Again, shout out to the sister. Big shout out to the sister. Queen, I know who I am <laughs> for, uh, you know, send us, sending us this story right here. And, you know, the crazy thing about it is like I told her, you know, we were just talking about me and Joan was just sitting up here talking about, you know, <laughs> the audacity of this woman. Erica Badu, you understand, making a fragrance, perfume-like type thing that actually smells like her box. You understand what I mean? Her, you know, I mean, this is just crazy. As you can see right here, it says Erica Badu reacts to selling out her vagina scented incense. You see what I mean? I don't know what, in what world, anybody, man or woman alike, would want to get some perfume that smells like another woman's box you understand what you think about that man i think it's ridiculous why would i want another woman the jj smell when i got my own in the first place exactly and ladies if your man out buying another woman scent then you need to do just like they said want him young man single and free because not only is he coming home with lipstick on his collar now they want to put the put JJ on it. That's crazy. Yeah, that's messed up. You got to put that motherfucker all the way in the won't ads. You understand? Because, you know, oh, but wait. This might add to even more cloak and dagger while a brother can go out and cheat and say some shit like, you know, the girl, this girl might say something, why are you smelling like pussy? You know what I mean? Screw, excuse him, expression. You know what I'm talking about? But hey, that's what it is, right? The thing is, is he might say, no, it's that Erica Badu new scent. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, I'm just saying, this is crazy as hell. But this just goes to show how mad this country has gone. You understand? And that anything sells. And there's no reason why, you know, we should be broke. Not that I would want to, you know what I mean, sell anything. Got nothing, nothing to do with how uh, your personal hygiene, you know what I mean, uh, 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 smells. No matter how divine you think it smells to you, you see? And why couldn't she just come up with her own perfume line just like anybody else? And what type of woman would you have to be to want to have a scent of somebody else's vagina? You know, I mean, what if they do? Take some samples, <laughs> DNA out of her for JJ and make the stuff? Yeah. I mean, just the thought is just sickening. It is. <laughs> That's right. You know, they must have did some shit like... You understand? Took samples out of the coon and shit. That's what I call coon, by the way. You know what I mean? I, you know, because that's what it is to me. You know the way. Anyway, I'm just saying that's what I call it. But I look. This is just. Mm, this, this is crazy. Now I kind of always, you know, uh, knew Miss Bad Dude was kind of out there and everything. I ain't lying. I always liked her music. I'm serious. You know what I mean? When she first came out with that first hit, on and on. You know what I mean? Man, that was tight. You know. Then uh, the other side of the game, and uh, I guess I'll see you next li uh, lifetime. Them songs right there, man, I'm telling you, that was the best. But then all of a sudden I started seeing her like go off the rail a little bit. And I like her music too, but I don't like it that damn much. And our women, they said they sold out. I mean, what does that say about the men the female mentality? That's just... I'm at a loss for words. Me I too, am. me too. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think of some shit. You know <laughs> what I mean? Because simply because, wow. You know what I'm, t I'm? I'm just saying. You know, now like I said, I'm gonna tell y'all where she kind of went off with me. Is when she did that one video when she was like naked walking down the street and then showed uh, what was that? Um, 
What's that president? When he got killed, got shot in the, in the lingon. JFK. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, it has something to do with that shit. I'm like, okay, now, what is this about? Is this some sort of ritual? You know what I mean? I'm like, what the hell going on here? You see? But, you know, all I'm saying is this. Hey, you know, when you start talking about, you know, uh, making samples of how, however way your, your, your box smell, you know what I'm talking about and everything. Hey, you kind of like lost me right there. You know what I'm saying? Shit. But let's get into the story right here. What you got to say, Joan? And I would like to know <laughs> who was the person that got down there to smell it so he can come up with an ideal person. Or her. Who knows? You know, we um, are in a twisted yeah, society. We in, yeah, we are in an online alternate ass base society fucked all up. Weird <laughs> as fuck. You know, we didn't. Some kind of way. You know what I mean? Uh, planet Earth and dipped off into a twilight zone. You know what I mean? For the worst. But I'm sure whoever it was, they like doing it. You know what I'm saying? Whoever it was, you know, did, did to turn around and say, hey, all I'm going to say is this. Erica needs to stop smoking them damn tweeds. I know, because what are you sitting up one day thinking, oh, what can I do? Oh, I know. Let's make a phrase for the month for JJ. Yeah. Like yeah. the rest of us girls ain't got now. And like I said, women, if your man like hers, then give him to her too. Kick his ass to the curb. Yeah, you know, it's <laughs> one of them tight, touchy ass ideas. I mean, deals. Simply because, I'm going to tell y'all, you know, now, coming along as a young man, you understand what I mean? Many, 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 many years ago. You understand what I mean? Now, I'm saying many, many years ago. Me and my wife been together for like 28 years, okay? So, I'm talking about before that. I'm, you know what I'm talking and about. And married 26. Yeah, we've been together that long. But the thing is, it did many, many years ago before that. I come across some shit that I ain't no way should be no perfume. Let alone... <laughs> I know I'm just that's right. Oh, what? I've been in the bathroom behind some of them. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you know, hey, I stay in the game. You understand? <laughs> I stay in the game just the same. But some of them just go, ooh, we what is wrong? You know what I mean? And then when I think about the kind of chances, I'm like, oh, damn. But I ain't gonna get into all that. Let's just read this story and see what's on the damn woman mind. Other, you know, let's see what brung this shit. You know what I mean? Okay, first it says... Maybe she trying to tell us she like with JJ's. So it must be. Who knows? You know, we, we don't know, man. You know, they eat different <laughs> off. You know, like uh, John Witherspoon said in Vampire in Brooklyn, they, they do the flip-flopping. Flip-flopping. They flip-flop. You know what I mean? That kind of shit. So basically, that's what we're looking at. But it says here, he said, will you uh, be purchasing the possibility... Well, no, excuse me. Let me read this shit again. Will you be purchasing the possible, well, possibly enchanting product? Hell no. It wasn't enchanting by so her. No, no, no. Hell no. No. Nah, you, <laughs> I mean, they act like this shit smell like Glade or something. You know what I mean? Glade. You know the sprays? You know, you spray your eyes. It smells good. And they just, what they act like this is. It's just spring waterfalls and shit. But anyway, let me continue. Neo Soul Queen Erica Badu offered consumers the chance to buy incense. That supposedly smelled like her own vagina. But dudes per se. That would it say. Now that y'all see that would it say. I ain't had living. What? Yeah. Went on sale on February 20. And apparently there was a high demand for the item. The dudes world market Twitter account announced that the 50 premium incense quickly sold out. $50 premium. $50 premium. Incense quickly sold out by posting. Ain't no more pussy. That's what it say, okay? <laughs> That's what it say. It posted that. <coughs> so it's actually an incense. It's an incense that won't be burned in here. Oh, I know that's right. You know what I mean? Come on now. Damn. <laughs> the Grammy winner reacted to that tweet by adding, fastest, fastest selling out pussy. Pussy, puss. Dollar sign, wink, wink, you know. In the South. She also addressed the instant success of Badu's pussy. You know what I mean? That's what it is. When you say that pussy, we talking about pussy cats. Okay, you know what I mean? That's what they call a what's new pussy cat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That kind of shit. Okay. Just in case children's involved, you know what I mean? We talking about cats. You look cats that you be seeing out here on four legs. Okay? Just so you know. But to continue. Uh, that cat to my soul. Yeah, and you know what? I'm gonna tell you something. I hope that damn them incense don't smell like wow. You know what I'm 
I know that shit because it would knock your ass out. But anyway, it says, at first, there was confusion about whether Erica was just trolling when the Dallas native told Ten Magazine that she cut up and burned her own panties. Listen at this weird ass shit. To create the vagina scented incense, however, the hottest pussy on the market was actually a real product. But you know what? I'm going to tell you now. Look, that was weird as fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm just saying that was weird to go there. I mean, she burned her own panties. What the hell would you do something now? Now, there's one thing. Now, look. Now, look. Everything stinks when it burns, no matter what. Okay? Right? Everything does. I don't give a shit what it is. You can burn cologne and it smell. It'll stink, right? My question is this. How would you derive an idea to make a scent from that smell right there? Let alone how it smelled before you burned it. But to continue, you know, I got, wow, you know, so many questions. Some people likely believe Badoo's pussy may hold some sort of magical superpowers. <laughs> Do- <laughs> <laughs> Due to the theory of her genitalia fundamentally charged her ex-boyfriend, Andre 3000. Man, what? Andre 3000? You understand what I mean? Y'all know who that is. That's Outcast, Comet, and J Electronica. The Baduism album creators is well aware of the meme. Well, the meme about her sexual prowess. Yeah, they said that this chick is just off the chain. She got something going, and evidently she must do it. I mean, who? Well, not that I want to know, but I'm just saying. What kind of cone this shit got right here with these men go crazy like that? You know what I mean? What You know what I'm saying? What's your thing? I think sex is a powerful thing anyway for men and women. But I don't want to be smelling her fragrance, be it in a deodorant, incense, whatever they put it in. I don't want to smell it. Exactly. You know, that's not cool. You know what I mean? After all, she's supposed to still be human. They act like this woman, some kind of divine... You know what I mean? Entity or something, you know? But it goes on to say, there's an urban legend that my pussy changes men. <laughs> Guess what? News flash, all pussy changes men. Because I used to be ter- I used to be bad as hell when I was out in them streets. You know what I mean? Just angry and doing all kinds of crazy shit until I found the right woman. Guess what? Now, I mean, it has that effect on men. You know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing too. See? What do you think about that, man? I'm just still at a loss for words. I mean, I don't know. My grandfather, you know, told my wife, you know what I'm saying? Say, you know, good, you changed that boy. That boy used to be mean as hell and used to be doing this and doing all that. You know what I'm saying? You didn't change it. Did he tell you that? Yes, he told me that, but I don't want to make no favorites. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, but to continue, all right, <laughs> the men that I fell in love with and all fell in love with me, changed jobs and lives, but do told 10, according to the singer, songwriter, but pussy has been restocked in all. Well, in the online store. Well, hers ain't no greater than none of the rest of the women's. Let's get this straight because let's, after all women, pussy was what got Satan in trouble in the garden with Adam and Eve. So, pussy been a powerful thing for a long time. And I didn't mean to put it like that, but hey, it's called pussy. And some men have died about that spoonful. Yeah, that's what cried about that spoonful. Yeah, that's what Holland Wolf said, you you know know what I mean? But he was talking in code, you know what I'm talking about? Everything fights about a spoon, you know what I mean? So, pussy been a powerful thing for years, so... Let's not act like hers is exotic. Yeah, that's that's true because you know the Mother Eve, you know what I'm saying? And when you say the Mother Eve, I think it was a whole gang of Mother Eves, you know what I'm saying, during that time, that actually, they they was doing what they do, what the Father made them to do, but not mess with the fallen angels. And, and hell, you know what I mean? The fallen angels said, you know, they looked up on the sisters, our foremothers. It was us, the original people. Okay, I want everybody to understand that. That's the truth. You know, and saw that the daughters, you know, was fair. And fair means fine. Fine. You know, and they purest. You know what I'm saying? And hey, wow. You know what I mean? That's all I got to say about that. 
You understand? And look what they did. And now them niggas got to walk the plank. You know what I mean? And so they they gonna you know make sure you know they wreak as much havoc as they can and take as many people with them as they can. You understand? But the main thing is what Joan just said. You know, they, want, they saw them and wanted they spoonful too. And why she bragging about the spells that she's put on these three men with her spoonful? We were all was only supposed to have one man. One man. So a lot of us been, you know, a little wild with that spoonful. <laughs> okay, that's right. That that's facts. You know, but uh, yeah, let's check this video out. You know, you can see the little incense and look like she high. <laughs> Smelling this shit, you know what I mean? Let's check out what see what she gotta say about this. Look. Well guys, thank you for making our uh, debut of Badusi. In other words, Badu sell out in a matter of how long? How long? It was like nineteen minutes. In a matter of nineteen minutes. Um, of course with pre-orders um, because um, I know you guys want it and you want it bad we just restocked right now how many packs well I beat them yeah. I'm gonna Packs of pussy, and she lost for words herself because she can't believe people actually buying this shit. Okay, yeah, but that's not why I stopped the video. Look who the fuck is profiting out a yeah, hundred more pounds of pussy to go. Some shit that white, some shit that motherfucker just said. They even selling the way we smell. What kind of shit they get rich off the way we smell? You understand that shit? Oh man, I'm gonna continue with the video. Look, let's listen. And this, oh man, this motherfucker over here holding it down and shit. Y'all excuse me for interrupting the video, but this shit ain't right. You understand what I mean? Hang on a second. This motherfucker getting rich off of the way her box smell. People, when the fuck are we going to wake up? Let's finish this shit. Like pussy in the sun's grown up. Mama's gone back. Children out. They grown up. Floating on lily pads. I'm the lily lad. Bitches can get it, but hey, suddenly they silly. They bought the pussies up. Well, she just said a bitch can get it. Uh oh. That's what she said. That's what she said, wasn't it? This is idolatry and this is too much idol worshiping. Too much idol worship, you know. But you know, the thing is, is this on the real? Now, look, Bernie Cat, I mean, Bernie Cat, damn, anyway, <laughs> Bernie Mac. That's what I'm saying, Bernie Mac. You understand? You got cat on your mind. Hell, how can you not have it on you? This Don't worry, song? I'm gonna take care of you. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, Bernie Mac, the brother said, if they ever put pussy in a can, man, they gonna whatever, they people gonna go crazy, and this and that. This is the closest thing next to it. Yeah, but he was saying them they have flavors, chicken flavors like barbecue and mm. some other crazy stuff. Y'all know how crazy Bernie was. Yeah, Bernie Mac, the <laughs> brother was he he really he was one of the, the the kings of comedy on the real, but one of the main kings of comedy. He was first, far as I'm concerned. You understand? But <clears throat> this is too much. The thing is, is this I'm saying, okay, it's outrageous that this chick is selling the S's in the way. Her box smell, one for one thing. Okay, but for another one, I seen the motherfucker that was sitting over there on the left on the couch holding it down with the cap twisted and shit. You understand? What was wrong with that picture right there? So it wouldn't matter if he was a black man. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It is wrong, but I would at least would have loved this. I mean, would have thought, I'm going to say that, that a brother would have been over there telling, you know, she did mention Andre, you know, 3000 and common them, you know what I mean? But. Why wasn't they over there or something? Or brother, you know what I mean? But you, maybe he's the one that helped her come up with the fragrance. Yeah, was he the motherfucker that was down there getting the sample? <laughs> 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 you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder. 
Okay, well, you know, uh, I'm just trying to bring this thing in. Look. She had to be nice high on some shit anyway. To she even, was. Ooh, you just saw she was looking. The ideal. Did you really see how she was looking? Yeah, I seen how she was looking. I always thought she was really w- weird. Yeah, baby girl. Rag that? lady, bag lady now. Yeah, I like bag lady too, but she became rag lady and shit. But <laughs> hell, who cares? Shit, she figure out shit. I'm getting rich off the way my thing smells. So what the fuck? I care about what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what I mean? That basically that's what it comes down to. Your judgment day, though. Your own judgment day and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh man, this is a new one on me. You know, it, it, this is a new one on me. I tell you, you know, I thought I seen everything. You know. And our people probably be killing each other over there just like they would about the damn chicken. <laughs> like they couldn't make their own chicken sandwich. Guess home. what though? If they do, KFC gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> and they're gonna get some white chick. Oh, oh, and it's gonna be another thing. I tell you. Y'all tell us what y'all think about this story right here. We're interested in hearing y'all thoughts and opinions on it, you know. Uh like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please remember people to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are. This is James. And John. And we out. Peace.